Today I'm going to make chicken haystacks. Um, it's a fun um, dish to have when you're um, having a group of people because you just put it in what you want. If you have a picky family, it's perfect because they can just have rice and butter, which some of my grandkids do. <laughs> so, so I start with, I have here a half a cup of rice and about a half a cup of our um, white sauce that we, we pre-made. I put a, a oh, you're making a serving for one, not for a whole family. No, yeah, a serving for one. That's what what um, Alexa says. One serving of rice is a half a cup. So that's what I'm doing. Um, and so the white sauce, I put some of the chicken granules in it. I put about um, a rounded teaspoonful for this one, one half a cup of. Half a cup. Oh, excuse me, a rounded quarter teaspoon. Um, you could use part of a can of cream of chicken soup or other kind of cream of soup if you would like. Um, we like the idea of just making the white sauce, but however you want to do it. Oh, yeah. And to this, I'm just add a little, oh, what do you call it? Gloop? A glob. A glob. A glob. <laughs> just one, one kind of half a, a glob. Yeah, because this is just for one person serving. Okay. okay, and that just risk, risk it, it's fine without it, but it makes it more rich. So I'm gonna do that, and I am going to actually put the chicken in here, and I think I'd like about that much for a serving. <laughs> that much for a serving, that's good. Um, often when I do it with my family, I don't um, put the meat with it because I have um, a child, a grandchild who does not like meat. And so I'll do it separately, and they just use it as a topping. But I kind of like it mixed in. So I put the gravy over it, and then comes the toppings. Um, there's we have peas, chopped broccoli, some pineapple, um, cheddar cheese, some mushrooms, some green pepper green onion, red onion, and sliced, sliced um, almonds. You could also put water chestnuts, oh no, bamboo shoots. Or water chestnuts. Or water chestnuts, or mandarin oranges, um, some other things we thought of as olives, and um, what else did we talk about? Did you talk about these noodles? Because the other alternative yeah. you could use. I was going to say that, yeah. Okay. Um, anything else? Okay. Well, whatever. We'll you have, have a list. Mind. We'll have a list on the recipe. Yeah. Celery. Um, and traditionally, celery. you put um, these chow mein noodles on it. Um, I really like. They also have well, like Winko and the Bulk Foods, and like uh, packages in the salad places. They'll have wonton strips, and it's they're really crunchy and good on top. So you just put whatever you want. Whoops. Uh, I'll put a few peas. Should I put all of these things on? Uh, uh, whatever you I'll want, put whatever looks good broccoli. to you. So the idea is, if you're, if this is a single serving, you know what your favorite toppings yeah. are, and we have all of these just as an idea, so that you can see. It's so delicious. The um, yes, and look how it grows. Yeah, it does. So you think that's oh, not that much. I put those. I'll put cheese on, and I'm gonna warm it up like this, and add then add the almonds. Well, maybe the almonds would be okay. Yeah. What about the noodles? I'll put okay. them after I warm it up. Okay. So they don't crunch. All right. We'll so try we'll have taste. a taste test. Yes. 